Hi, I'm Pat, and welcome back to the channel. I received some messages from other BMW i8 owners asking me about a part that's prone to failure, and that is the wire loom, or the protection that's around the wiring harness that extends from the door into the body of the car. If you're new to the channel, please click the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications as I'll be posting more content like this. I've shared a few pictures over the past couple videos talking about some potential problems with the i8, and that includes the wire loom or the protection around the wiring harness that extends from the vehicle to the door. Let's take a closer look at that. What are you doing? You're afraid of cars. Now when the door is open to the BMW i8, you can see this protective covering here over the wiring harness. And as the door moves in and out, it actually rubs against these other plastic pieces. And that causes stress on this part. Not only is it constantly moving back and forth as you open the door, but it's also pulling. So if I was to give this a little bit of a pull, there is a little bit of stretch here, but it's really tight. And because it's tight, well, it's actually trying to pull itself apart and over time it actually does. If we take a closer look we can even see that in here there's some white sections in this plastic here and that's under stress. That means that this part can actually break and it's broken on a bunch of BMW i8s. Now if we take a listen to when the door opens and closes you can actually hear this riding, the ridges are riding on this other captive part. The plastic bit in here is actually cracked. That is just annoying. And BMW don't want to take the claim saying that's that's a uh, wear and tear. And I've asked today, I was talking to Pat on Instagram. Anything I want to know about this BMW i8, I go ask him. He's one of them people that knows everything to everything. And um, he's a really, really cool guy. Um, yeah, so I asked him, he was like, this is not really, really wear and tear in the US but in Europe could be different. Now many i8 owners that have experienced this problem took their cars into the dealership and received warranty repair of the wiring harness. And that actually requires taking the front fender off of the car to get to the part that plugs into the cabin and then removing the door skin from the door. So you have to take this part off in order to get to the other end of the wiring harness. And that plugs into some of the electronic switches that are here as well as the mirrors. So if you have this particular issue, you can work on it yourself, although you'll have to purchase a manual either from eManuals Online or some other mechanism in order to get the repair manual for this car. So I can't cover that today. However, it is available. There'll be a link in the description below along with a code where you could save a bunch of money for the manual for the BMW i8. But today's video is going to be talking about how to prevent this problem from occurring in the first place. And see, I don't have this issue with my i8, and well, it may have happened when the first owner still had the car, because the car was about three and a half years old when I bought it. But through my experience, I haven't had any issues. But I have noticed that as I've opened and closed the door over time, that sometimes I get some weird noises coming out of this area. Well, I decided to do a little test and I purchased a product that gives a protective coating to plastics and rubbers and vinyls to see if it could actually help prevent wear of this particular wire loom. Let's take a closer look at that. I've seen a few videos online where a gentleman used this particular product. This is 303 brand and this is a protectant for interior and exterior surfaces. It keeps vinyl, rubber and plastic looking new longer. It also repels dust and it's a dry touch, so it's not a very greasy, filmy uh, solution. And when you apply it to products such as that wire loom, of course it makes it slicker. So this reduces the amount of friction that happens between this wire loom and the protective area that, that covers it. So I found this 303 protectant online. There's a link in the description below if you're interested in the product. It was fairly inexpensive and I've only ever used this product one time and that was on that wire loom about three months ago. 
It's still holding up fine, and I believe it's actually providing a little bit of wear protection so that I won't have this issue in my i8. So I'm gonna apply it to the other side of the car, that's the passenger side today, and I'll just show you how it works. It's fairly easy to use. Now over here in the passenger side of the car, I haven't done anything to this, and you could see there's a little buildup of dust and dirt. And in fact, if we pull the wire loom out a tiny bit, you can see it's no longer even shiny there. It's, it's dull, uh, there's dirt buildup, so there's definitely more resistance and it's gonna cause more wear on this side of the vehicle. So I'm just gonna take my 303 and uh, at the very top of the bottle up here, you can change this to like a stream or a spray setting. I have it on stream right now. And I'm just gonna take a paper towel and I'm gonna hold it around this area because I don't wanna get this everywhere. And I'm gonna squirt up into the wire loom trying to get as much coverage as I possibly can on this side. And I'm just gonna wipe off the excess here in some of the parts of the vehicle I don't really need to get, <laughs> need to get any additional uh, protection on. There we are. You can see it's actually starting to drip down here. I'm just gonna work it into some of these areas. That way I have a little bit of build up there and uh, we'll let it sit just for a couple minutes. But at the same time, I'm gonna give this wire loom another tug and see if I can get a little bit more up in there. As you can see, I'm trying to saturate it as much as possible. That way I get as much protection up in there as I possibly can. And of course, on this side of the wire loom that's closer to the door, I'm gonna go ahead and just apply a little bit more there. Any extra protection helps and increases the longevity of this part. And I could see that there's some areas back here that are dry because of course I was squirting from the other direction. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe off any excess that I have. So now I can go ahead and just work the door And see that wire loom is going in and out of there just nice and slick. I don't have any issues. Perfect. So as we can see now we actually get a little bit more travel of this loom. If I give it a little tug it's not resisting anymore. So this product is definitely help improve the slickness of this but it's also helping improve the longevity so it doesn't wear out over time. Yep, that's working well. So that wraps up today's video. If you have any questions or comments, drop them in the comment box below. And see the link in the description to get yourself some 303 protectant. I think almost any protectant would work, including maybe Armor All. But I've seen some good things about 303, so I figured I would go out and make the purchase and try it myself. I've been pretty happy for the last several months, and I hope this continues to prevent any issues with these wire harness covers on my BMW i8. Now, if you have an i8 and yours has cracked, there's really not much you can do. You could probably put a little electrical tape around it and that may hold up over a short period of time. However, the tolerance between the two plastic parts that ride inside the fender there, well, they're pretty close. So it'll probably end up tearing the tape off of any broken sections. So the wiring harness is about $200, I believe, and it's probably gonna cost the equivalent in order to have a mechanic go ahead and replace it. You could probably take this to almost any independent mechanic that has European Motors experience, and they'll be able to take care of it for you. But if you do try to DIY it yourself, check the link in the description for the e-manual as well as the promo code, and you could follow the steps yourself. If you like today's video, please give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing and ringing that bell for notification. I'll be posting more BMW IA content. Thanks for watching and happy motoring.